I'm going to show you how to add video to your Bitmoji classroom. Avant-garde teacher here. I hope you'll enjoy watching this video and find something that you can use because I believe in sharing. I'm not a pro, but I always find creative ways to work with what I have. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. And why not join our Facebook group and share this? For this tutorial, you will need a video file saved to Google Drive and a link to a video. Let's get started. Okay, now to video, um, you can use Screencastify, which I love. It's one of those extensions you have to have. And here is my Screencastify button right here. And you click on that. And then here's your first drop down that you see. So here are the options. You can do browser tab, desktop webcam, microphone, embedded webcam. So you can see I have my microphone activated and my desktop. Now here's the next drop down. After you hit record, then you can select either the entire screen or just the application window. So I usually choose application window. And here's the last pop-up. So it'll show me the application window and I'll click on the one I want if there's more. And then I click share and it'll count you down. Three, two, one. And then it's video in your screen. And when you're done, you can click on the stop sharing. So when you go back up to the Screencastify extension and you click, it'll open up this drop down. And then you'll click on uh, the stop button and it will stop sharing. Okay, and then it'll pop up a screen like this when you stop sharing. And you'll need to put in a title here. And you just click on it and you can put in your title. And then you have these options here um, where to share it. You can get a uh, link that'll link it to Google Drive because it'll all be saved there in a Screencastify folder. You can share it to your Google Classroom. You can publish it to YouTube, get an embed code, or download. And then it gives you download options. You can download, export it as an MP4, um, export audio only, or export it as an animated GIF. Now the GIF, you can't have too many slides or too long of film. And then once you save, you're done. Now, because I've purchased, uh, the upgrade and I'm not in the free version, I have the option of opening an editor and editing my video. Now, once you do that and it's downloaded, you have your link, you're ready to go and you can put it into your um, classroom. Either you can put the film or you can attach it as a link. And so I'll show you how. your classroom, you're going to need to go to insert video. And then if you have a video uh, on your drive, it'll appear here. So you'll click on video. It has to be shared into your drive or you have to do it as a link. If you do it as a link, it'll take you outside. So we'll see both of the ways. So uh, click on video, click select. So it puts my video in there and I'm going to add my video to the last slide here. Click away from it, make sure it can be seen. I'm going to bring my fish forward a little bit. There you go. Um, so it looks like they're all underwater. And uh, now, if you do not have it in Google Classroom and you want, I mean, in your Google Drive and you want to attach a video, is you can add it as a separate link. And you click on the link. And then we're going to paste the video here. And so now there's a video there. Now, let's see what happens when I play this one. Then we'll see what happens when I follow this link. 
to die. See, if I play it as We're right going in to here, learn. if I link it as a video. Now, let's see what happens when we follow this link. It takes us outside to Google Drive. Okay? So, it'll take you out of the frame. Okay, let's watch. Today, we are going to learn how to represent multiplication using equal groups. Now, don't be afraid. I am not a real shark. I just play one on TV. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And as an added bonus, I've attached my video on anchoring that shows how to use the interactive Google slide maps. Because you are watching to the end, you will get a link for a free copy of the animated video and the interactive Google slide map seen in the video. Awesome! And it's free! 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 My anchoring video, I would normally be explaining exactly each part of this. Um, so if the kids needed to go back and click on it to refer to anything or they forgot, they can always click on the video. Um, I also explain exactly what they're going to be doing in their practice. So you may have noticed that in the video, you saw the shark had practice on it and it had several things that say practice. Well, I showed them in the anchoring exactly what's expected and how they draw, uh, drag and drop and show the representation. And then they get to practice it on the additional mats. So they'll click on one of the practices and it's the exact same word problem, except it changes the number. So if they forget something or they don't, they can always refer back to the video. I love the interactive Google slide mats. Please leave your comments below and um, hope you enjoy your free version of the interactive Google slide mats. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.